Well, the cleanup begins today after the storms that we had across mid-Michigan last night. Of course, we had heavy rainfall and gusty winds in the Lansing area. Hardest hit was near Williamston, where a possible tornado touched down. Matter of fact, they're pretty sure it was a tornado. This was around 9.30 last night. It not only collapsed a roof on a building, but there were uh, numerous uh, reports of accidents on I-96 from the storm. We had into the Jackson area, not quite as hard of a hit, but still we had some very strong winds in Jackson. Reported wind gust in Jackson was at 64 miles per hour. We can see uh, some viewer pictures in the Grand Ledge area also hit a lot of trees down, power outages. Power outages in the Lansing area, numerous neighborhoods with uh, trees now lying on the ground. So the cleanup beginning there. This is a look at Jackson. Again, we had those very strong winds. This was about 1030 when uh, the storm was working its way through. Well, this is the northwestern part of the city of Jackson. So the cleanup begins across the area today as uh, some cooler air starts to return to the area. We will have clouds in place today and occasionally a few peaks at the sun. It does look like today is a dry day, but tonight we do have a little front that is going to try to head south across the state. Small chance of a stray shower today or tonight and then again as we head throughout the day on Saturday. I think on Saturday we end up with partly cloudy skies for a good portion of the day. The showers aren't a for certain thing, but at least the possibility is there. For today, plan on clouds, some sun. It's still a bit on the humid side, but we do have cooler temperatures, a high near 80 degrees. For tonight, we are partly cloudy, slight chance of a shower tonight, a low of 63. That's the case tomorrow, too. Overall, it's partly cloudy, small chance there could be a stray shower, a high of 74. We are mostly sunny Sunday and Monday with highs in the 70s. There is the chance of rain again on Tuesday, a high of 72. May only be in the upper 60s for highs next Wednesday, and then we rebound back into the 70s as we head towards next weekend.